<laughs> Sorry, looking at myself in the camera because I just got my new Ipsy box in yesterday and I tried out the new makeup products today. And I gotta say, I'm kind of a fan. Let's see if I still feel that way when I edit or if I feel like my face looks super dark. Anyway, hi. Welcome back to another studio vlog. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and this is the channel Outfolded. I run a company that is called Outfolded that is apparel, stickers, bookmarks, coasters, all sorts of stuff. It just depends on what I feel like making and see if it fits in well with my brand. But it's an exciting week. It is a product launch week. I am launching a whole collection of new products on Thursday the 19th, April 19th. I think that I'm aiming to have them up by 8 p.m. That's usually what I try to do. I don't, I've been trying to change up whether or not I do my shop launches in the evening or do them earlier in the day, but I need that little bit of extra time for this shop launch. So I am holding on and doing it by 8 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. I'm very, very excited for this collection. Um, I got a ton of new, uh, products in. Is that the word? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I had, to, I had to order a whole lot of new stuff for the shop. So I figured I would do some unboxing for you all and kind of give you a sneak peek of what some of the products in the launch will be. Some of these, I do not know if I'm going to be able to launch by Thursday or not, or if I'm going to have to wait until May or do another smaller launch in a week or so, because I'm launching some new new t-shirts. I think it's six new shirts that I'm launching. I think. But I don't have the shirts yet. <laughs> so what I may do, I've got a couple options there. I can either purchase the um, mock-up for the shirts that I am waiting on and go ahead and just do mock-up photos of everything and then have them listed that way because the shirts, typically my manufacturer takes about three days to get their shirts to me but they're showing a shipping time at Friday. So they will probably be here either Friday or Monday. They're behind a little bit evidently. So even if I do just do the mock-ups, everything should still fit within my processing time, which my processing time is three to five days. It usually takes me a lot less than that. Usually when an order comes in, I usually have it out the next day, but I do have my processing time set because we, excuse me. Sorry about that. I have no idea what my dog was barking at. <laughs> Not the slightest clue. Like, no male lady, neighbors aren't out, no other animals out. I have no idea what she's barking at, but she's got like scary good eyesight and can see a lot further out than what I assume that I can. So who knows what she saw through the door that she decided to bark at. Anyway, what I was saying was, I will probably go ahead and do the mock-up photos of the shirts. That way I can include them in this launch because I've, I've been putting these shirts off for a little while. And I don't want to put them off anymore because they're the perfect addition to a spring launch. So that is probably what I will do, but we'll see. We'll see. I've never worked with mock-ups before, so that'll be a new learning thing for me, which is definitely something I need to learn how to do to make my photographs better. Anyway, I want to show you what I got in. Um, I do know for sure that there is one product that will not be included in this launch because I ordered it too late and I decided to have this product made for me. Um, I designed the artwork for some sticky notes and I ordered them a little too close to the to the date. I didn't really realize how long of a processing time I would need for sticky notes. And it turns out I need a couple weeks for that. So I'm a little bit late. I ordered them three days ago today is friday so i ordered them yeah i ordered them tuesday and they won't be here until the 22nd so i know for sure that those will not make it into the shop launch but as i said i have another shop launch that i plan to do around mother's day so yeah those will fit in then those will be really cute and i know it's kind of shop launches back and forth but the one for mother's day will be really small like it'll be a couple extra cups and things like that this shop launch <laughs> It's pretty big. I'm hoping that I can pull it off. I'm a little nervous that I won't be able to pull it off. But I got some new transfers in and I want to show you the new keychain designs, the new cup designs, um, the new t-shirt designs. I got 
all of those in this little box right here. And this came in yesterday, so I've already peeked at these to see how they look. Um, I've also got my mother and father-in-law's business shirts. They ordered four shirts from me. So instead of doing them all in vinyl this time, I went ahead and made, made them on DTF to make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> And that, and then they can just keep reordering whenever they, they need to, and that makes things a lot easier on me. But these are the UV DTF ones. This is all the new cups. I have these cups right here that I'm going to keep experimenting with a little bit, but I do not know if these will make it into the shop launch this time because I'm struggling a little bit when it comes to the sublimation on the Libby cups. And right now, if you watched my previous vlog, you know that my heat press my cup press broke <laughs> during a tiktok live it just stopped working and the whole video for tiktok live was all based around making these cups <laughs> and i couldn't do it it was it was a horrible horrible video but i made it through it i'm new to tiktok live it makes me super nervous and that one i could just i mean i was frustrated but i just kind of laughed through the whole thing anyway i don't have these cuts so it's a little bit harder to show you what they are but I'll do my best. Anyway, I ordered all of these flowers to go on clear keychains, clear motel keychains. These are all birth flowers, and that's how I'm going to market them as is birth flowers. I already have the February ones listed in my shop, but I wanted to go ahead and do it every month, so that's what I have there. And then this right here is a cup design. This here is a cup design says books and coffee with all the bow ties. I thought this little retro one was really cute. Let's see if you can see that. I like the little flowers and it's got little butterflies mixed in with it. It's really, really pretty. And then look at these. I think these are don't quote me on this. I'm not very good at these. But I think this is Locksburg or something like that. It's beautiful. Anyway, I got this mama one that's got just a little bit of greenery in it. Simple. I got one that might be good for like teacher gifts for the end of the school year. And then my favorite one that I got is this lemon one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is my favorite one. I cannot wait to make those. And then I've got this antisocial butterfly. Simple cup design. But those are the UV DTF transfers that I got. And I will be working on those probably today. I'm thinking I might go live on TikTok while I make these. I think. Especially since I already have some cups in my shop that I can go ahead and link as... Um, shoppable. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do on my TikTok live today. And hopefully that one will go a lot better than my last one did. Let's see. And then the shirt designs. Three of these designs are not my originals, but three of these designs are my originals. And I'm very excited to release the collection that I put together. I I think it's perfect for spring. I wish that I would have launched it before Easter because it would have fit in so well for Easter, but I didn't. Anyway. Antisocial but willing to discuss books. I love that. That one I think is gonna go on the front of a sweatshirt. I think, I think these three right here are going to go on sweatshirts and then my other three are going to go on t-shirts. Fitness mode on. I'm going to do that on the back of the sweatshirt, I think. And then Bookish Babe. I love the Bookish Babe one. I've been trying to get the Bookish Babe one for a while. Like, I've had the file for a while. File for a while. <laughs> but there was an issue with the file. And I ended up having to try to correct it and... It took a little bit before the company that I ordered these gang sheets from um, would take the design. So it took me a little bit to work with that one. And then I've got one more gang sheet. I feel be able to see 
my mother and father-in-law's, but I worked so hard on their design. It took me like three hours to make their design, but they really love it. And it's their company logo now, so it makes me very happy and very proud. <laughs> Everything on this sheet is all original to me, and that, oh, that just makes me so happy. But I have, sorry, the light is going. I am saved. I am redeemed and I am forgiven. And you'll be able to see these a lot better once I actually put them on shirts and I will definitely make sure to show them once I put them on shirts. And then their company logo is Brian Wilson Trucking. That one, <laughs> the first time I did theirs, I've made four shirts for them and I did it all in vinyl and did the layering on the Wilson and all that itty bitty little print and vinyl. And I said, never again, <laughs> I won't ever do it again. That was when I truly decided that I hate working with vinyl. So I told them if they wanted any more that they were gonna have to give me a little bit of time and be willing to pay for the transfers. And that's how I would do it from now on. And I have no regrets because they turned out so good. Sorry, this is loud and all. Oh yeah, and their shirt designs come with a little pocket one too. But there is a light right behind the camera because it is super dark in here because it's raining outside. So it's hard to show this stuff. As I said, you'll get a better idea of those once I either do the mock-ups or get the t-shirts in, which I will bring you along with that as I always do. Okay, and then I have three Amazon boxes to open. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of people using these super cute box cutters and I looked on Amazon the other day after I had already put, purchased all this stuff and found some really really cute little cloud shaped ones that I'm going to order the next time I put an order in so that whenever I'm standing here opening packages it's a lot cuter <laughs> instead of just trying to use scissors because you know it's supposed to be all about the aesthetic. These boxes are heavy. Most of these are just kind of restocked with supplies that I need. Let's see. I ordered more of the sublimation wallets. I ordered 30 more of them. And I want to show you what I did with those yesterday. These will be in the shop launch, and I am super, super excited for these. How cute is that? They are so bright and colorful and just perfect for spring. And I'm marketing them as like Mother's Day gifts, teacher gifts, things like that. These are little card holders that you use adhesive tape on the back and put it to your phone case for like your driver's license, your debit card, whatever you want to carry. And for me, I know I'm going to use the heck out of something like this because whenever my husband and I are going to like Gatlinburg or going to restaurants or we go bowling or something, I don't like to carry my purse. So this will be perfect for me. But I can't decide if I'm going to do any more designs or if it's just going to be these, this, these three this time. I think it's just going to be this three this time. Does that make sense? This three this time? Anyway, yeah. But these will be available on the 19th. But I'm going to make some more of those to go ahead and have them in stock because I have a feeling these are going to do really well. I posted them on Facebook yesterday and I already have one person that wants to buy one. So I have a feeling they're going to do pretty okay. But I bought 30 of those so that I can play with designs. I don't think I'm going to take custom orders on those even though you could do like photographs and things on them. I'm not a person that likes to do custom orders. I stress about it way too much so I don't think that's something that I'm going to offer. But I do like that there's a lot of people on Etsy that do offer that. I had to get more sublimation paper because I am almost out. I don't know what's in here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm going to have to sneeze. So many more car coasters. 
I think this is 200 car customers, maybe 150. Because I have gone through, the car coasters have been a little bit of a learning curve. Trying to figure out exactly how to place these, how to tape them. These are all going to be sold as seconds. <laughs> I, every one of these is going to be sold as seconds. These were all trial and error. The second round that I did yesterday. These are all perfect. I absolutely love <laughs> Are you done? Anyway, I want to show you the car coasters. These will also be available on Thursday. And I I think there's seven designs that I'm doing. I think. I got this little bumblebee. How adorable. This is I can't decide if this is my favorite one or I love the bee ones. They're so cute. That one. Now I've got a few different butterfly ones. And then some daisies. And I just realized that they should be like that. I just showed you that one. Um, some colored daisies. I'm showing you that one. Let's see. This one. This gorgeous one. Showing you those. And I think this is the only one you haven't seen. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excuse me, I told you I had to sneeze. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are seven car coaster designs that will be in this collection. And I think they're all very springish. They're going to be great to use, like if you decide that you want to decorate your vehicle seasonally, or you can use them on your desk, you can use them on your coffee tables, whatever you want to use them on. Um, they will come in a package of two. Two matching ones. And I've been playing around with the packaging. I think I really like this packaging, this type of packaging, but I ordered some new um, clear bags to go with these, which I'm hoping are in this shipment, but I'm not sure. But I ordered some that are a little bit thinner, make them fit a little bit better. So I will have to make this smaller, and I want to make sure that my website is listed on these two, so I need to tweak that a little bit. But I think that's really cute. And I want to, I'm thinking I want to put like a chipboard or something on behind them so that I can tape the coasters to it so that they're not moving all over the place like what they are in this one. I'm trying really hard to concentrate on prettier packaging. I'm trying. But those are all the neoprene coasters. And I've decided to do those instead of doing the ceramic. I love the ceramic. I love how the colors just pop so good on ceramic, but I am petrified that they're going to break. <laughs> so I can't decide if I'm going to do any of those or not. Okay, then we got bigger boxes. See, I really, really need to keep box cutter. This is the heating element for my cup press. Still makes me very angry. I have only had that cup press since September. Like I looked to check the shipping date on it and I got it September 25th of 2023. And I ordered it off of Amazon 
Amazon. The brand is Realcant, R-E-A-L-K-A-N-T. I haven't even pressed 100 mugs with that heat press. And I have followed the directions every time I've used it. And then the heating element goes out. Well, I tried to contact the company through Amazon and it wouldn't let me. Like, because I wanted to see if they would do something about it and see if they would make it right. Say, I've, I've had this for less than a year. And in my opinion, if you pay $150 for something, it should last more than a year. So I never could get a hold of the company. But when they, when I ordered this, the company sent me a very long email detailing like instructions and stuff on how to use it and how to contact them if I have any issues with it. So I'm going to try to contact them through that information and kind of let them know what my issues were and see if they'll do anything to make it right. Um, I could have bought a whole new heat press, but this unit was $80, the element was, or a new heat press is $250. So I figured I'd get so I figured I would give this one more try, but yes, we are pretty confident that this is the part that has gone bad in the heat, heat press. So in order for me to do those cups today, I have to figure out how to install this, which it, it wasn't hard to take apart, so it shouldn't be hard to put together. But either way, if you are looking for a heat press, I do not recommend the mug press that I've got. I do recommend my shirt press. I have loved that thing. I've got the um, HTV Ront heat press and that thing is amazing not sponsored wish it was but okay, these i don't really want to open i don't think i told y'all in my previous vlog that i needed new more glass tumblers but i told you that the ones that i ordered before were on back order and they couldn't give me a date of when they were going to have them back in stock so i ended up ordering from another company and so far <laughs> i love the packaging the other company that i ordered from that i've had a few issues with they put them all in one box together and just had a big styrofoam insert around each one but this one has unmarked unlabeled boxes that i can reuse for shipping so already a huge plus i just hope that they're around about the same <laughs> The lids are a little different. The lids for my other ones, the cutout is directly in the center of the lids. These are just a little bit offset. But these are the 16 ounce Libby glasses and I will be putting a lot of these to work today. I'm going to save all of the packaging so that I can use the bubble wrap and stuff. Like reuse everything as they sell. So. So far, a huge plus. I ordered two giant boxes of these, I think. Maybe three. It may have been three. Yeah. That's exciting. I think one's Sixteen in this box. And then, <laughs> whatever's in this box down here, it's marked as heavy. So I know for sure that there's more cups in here, but I don't know how many. These are the ones that I've been anxiously waiting. All right, first I restocked on sticker paper. Um, it's cheaper to buy all the sticker paper in bigger units. So I got five packs of them, which should last me, should last me a little while. But I was down to my, what I thought was my last package. And then I looked on a different shelf and saw that I still have two unopened packages. So I've got a lot of sticker paper for a while. Um, another product, that I want to launch with this spring launch is two tote bags. I have one white tote bag that I'm gonna release that is going to have a really cute sun on it and it, it'll say, um, good or hello sunshine. And then this one, I wanted to try a colored tote bag. These are pretty thin, but 
they're pretty cute. Um, I'm going to put a white daisy, a big white daisy on these with a yellow center. And I think that'll be really pretty. I don't think that these are going to say anything. I just want the white daisy on them. And against that blue, I think it'd be beautiful. So two very simple tote bags. I have a couple bookish design ones that I want to do, but I'm going to wait to release those until closer to my summer launch, I think. I think. Let's see. I ordered a new tape dispenser because I am getting very tired of just holding rolls of tape and then having to set them I put the sticky end against my table in order to get keep it from curling up on itself. So I ordered this bad boy. How nice is that? I'm not exactly sure how it cuts. I'm going to actually have to read the instructions on it, but... I really wish that these came in like little lighter pastel colors, but I couldn't find one in a lighter pastel. But they come with the three inch core, which is for like your masking tapes and things like that, or and your heat tapes. And then they've come with a one inch core also. You fit two different things on here, but I don't know if you can do a one inch and a three inch. I'm not sure. I don't think so. No. It's either a one or a three. But I'm very excited by that. That should make things quite a bit easier for me. And then I ordered some packaging thank you stickers because the price of them wasn't bad at all. And I have been making all of my packaging thank you stickers. But I wanted to find one thing that I could just kind of streamline with my business. Um, <laughs> after I ordered these, I found a stand for my... Um, thermal printer that you can get a roller attachment on the bottom of it and you can buy these holographic stickers plain and print them with your thermal printer. I wish that I would have seen that before I ordered these but I'm going to go through these first. I just have to decide where I'm going to put these. <laughs> like I'd like to hang them up and just make it easier for packaging like you see a lot of people like do dowel rods and stuff like that for these things but I don't have space for that. I don't know. I might just use it as a roll. But they're cute. They're holograph holographic. And they say, thank you for supporting my small business. So I thought that the, those would be cute. And take a little bit of a burden off of me having to keep on printing that stuff. The next ones that I'm going to try to order are my logo ones. But those are expensive. Like it, I feel like it's cheaper for me to make my logo stickers than what it is for me to order them. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And then, last but not least, I ordered a new tripod for y'all. Because this one that I record on, like, always cuts my head off because where you're at right now is the tallest it'll go. So I wanted to order one that's a little bit sturdier, a little bit taller. And then my husband and my son are taking over this one to use for their dirt bike videos. They started a dirt bike channel, finally, and they will be using that tripod. And where, when... I'm doing like TikTok lives and stuff. It'll be handy having two tripods. I'm excited. Okay. Oh. No, silly thing to get excited over, but this will definitely help like my camera angles and things like that it should improve my videos. And man, that is so sturdy compared to the one that y'all are on right now. The one that y'all are on, I paid $20 at Walmart for and it, the legs are all bent on it and it's hard to move the um, length bar up and down anymore. And it's just, it's, it's seen its days. <laughs> So it'll be good for what they need it for. It'll be good for using it outside while they record their videos. And it, as I said, it'll be good for like a secondary one whenever I want to go live, but also keep you guys on at the same time. Because that was something I realized doing my live last week that I really struggled with is I couldn't record for you all at the same time that I was recording the live because the other tripod that I have is just a little tabletop one and it just, it didn't work out. But this should work fairly well. Anyway, that is 
all of my new stuff that I wanted to show you guys. I am going to get all of the stuff put away, grab me some lunch because I'm hungry, and then when we come back, we are going to work on cups and keychains and everything. I have got so much to do over the next few days. The goal is to have all products made by Monday. It's Friday. I won't be home Sunday. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that just, like you're a whole foot taller than what you were right now. And I still have a lot of lift still to go. So this is, this is pretty awesome. It should be great too, to be able to kind of put you over my shoulder if I'm packing orders and stuff and like be able to change up some angles a lot better than what I could before. So I'm really excited by this. All right, um, I think what I'm gonna do First is go ahead and get the UV DTF stuff, this game sheet, cut up so that I can go ahead and work on the cups 
and the keychains. That's my goal for today is to get the cups and keychains done. Yeah, we'll get those finished and then hopefully tomorrow it'll be sunny out. And if not tomorrow, I know it will be Sunday and my husband just called to tell me that he's working Sunday. So that means I can work Sunday too. Um, so, so Sunday will probably be my photography day for all the products that I have finished. But I wanna go ahead and get these done and then when I sit down tonight, I want to design the tote bags, which shouldn't take me very long. The designs that I wanna do on both of them are really simple. And those I am doing in vinyl, but I don't think it'd be very difficult. I just have to make sure that I have the right colors in vinyl. I think I do. I'm pretty sure I've got white and yellow and I think, and maybe a blue.
all sorts of new things that'll be added to my shop on Thursday the 19th and that they'll be listed by 8 p.m. Eastern time. Everything will be. I will have them listed in my TikTok shop. I'll have them listed on my Etsy store and my website. So there'll be three different places that you can purchase from and all of them will be live. Okay, so I still have a lot to learn with TikTok live, but that one went so much better than my last one went. I actually had a few people that were hanging around and a little bit more comfortable. I still feel super awkward, but that one was a lot better. Anyway, I got knocked off of that TikTok live because of an invite that came through and I just, I didn't go back on. I left it where it was. So now where we're leaving off at is I got all of the clear keychains cleaned up and they've all been sanitized with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to take a lint roller over them to make sure that the side that I'm putting the decal on is lint free and get to making these keychains. My coffee's gone cold. <laughs> okay.
should have music playing. That's what I forgot. I was gonna have music going. Maybe I need to do a checklist of what I need to have for lives because I want to start going live on Instagram too and try to boost my following because my followings are really, really low on every social media platform. It's like I cannot break that 200 mark. No matter what I do, no matter how many times I post, I cannot break 200. And it's not for lack of trying, although I will be the first to admit I haven't been as consistent as what I need to be. But I'm working on that. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, I would really appreciate it if you would help support me in any other way that you choose to. I completely understand if you don't want to, but but I would appreciate it. Okay. We have got one hour before my kids get home from school. So in the next hour, I'm gonna try and get as many of these keychains done as what I possibly can. I can do three of each design. I think. Two of each design. So, this is gonna be where I'm gonna have issues. I started getting my nails done to make photography a little bit better and my videos a little bit better. But <laughs> I'm still learning how to work with them. These are really pretty though. So these, this color that I got the last time, it's like a coral pink. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to be kind of sad to go and get them done again. But I'm supposed to be taking my daughter on Monday. I would like to wait an extra week to go and get them done. But she has prom next weekend, so... We're gonna go get our nails done and our hair done. Good Lord. <laughs> okay, any tips and tricks to taking these apart a little easier? It's worse than trying to get a sticker. They need to have an easy peel option. <laughs> okay, there we go. Gorgeous. I'm kind of bring my trash can over here, but that's okay. There's one. Let's do one of the daffodils. I think the daffodils might be my favorite. Which I love daffodil flowers. Um, daffodils and carnations. And lilies and tulips. I love flowers. <laughs> I think out of these, I mean, it's hard to choose because they're all beautiful, but okay, that one was a little bit easier. sizing on these a lot better than the first one that I did. The sizing on the first one was just too small. I mean, it's pretty. It just didn't take up enough of the keychain space, I feel like. What do you think? Should I go back on TikTok Live? Since I got cut off on that one. I don't know if it'll let me do it twice in so, such a short amount of time, though. Either way, I'm a lot happier with how that one went. How do you like my little setup? <laughs> I 
I want to get an outfolded sign to go back here if this is where I'm going to film my lives at. But really the lives kind of depend on what I'm doing right now. It's something that I can sit down and work on. But I can't get a real good angle, camera angle at my workbench. Ooh, I didn't see that this has got thorns on the stem. How pretty. Like the details of these is so good. You see that? That's so good. So pretty. this one they didn't take it all the way to the edge so it just so much easier <laughs> I wish they were all like that I absolutely love these transfers um this company just recently started doing the UV DTF. They've been doing DTF for a long time and they do a lot of vinyl stuff. It's um, 143 Vinyl is the company that I use. And if you're looking for a company that does UV DTF for a really decent price, I highly, highly recommend them. I put the order in for these on Sunday and I got them yesterday. And today I got them on Thursday. So. The turnaround time is fantastic. Their customer service is phenomenal. I had issues with one of my designs on the DTF, one of the t-shirts. I think I already told you guys that. But um, they fixed it for me. They emailed me about it, asking my permission to be able to touch it up. And I was like, yes, of course. And they fixed it for me. It was awesome. So if you are looking for a manufacturer, I probably shouldn't give away all my secrets, but I'm not a big enough company for that to really matter. So if you're looking for somebody, I highly recommend them. They're wonderful. I'm going to shut you off to go ahead and save my battery and since I'm going to be doing the same thing over and over and over again and I will bring you back. Actually, I probably, I probably won't bring you back on this one. I will probably start a separate studio vlog tomorrow. That way I can get some in the bank. So for today, I, I feel like I'm getting quite a bit done. It may not seem like that on your end, but there's a lot that's been going into this shop launch that I have not recorded and then trying to build my social media following too. That's a whole another side deal that has been taking up a lot of my time, but I think it's been well worth it. Um, yeah. Sorry. I'm so awkward when it comes to a lot of this stuff. I would think by now I'd be getting used to it. And I think for somewhat, I'm somewhat getting used to it. Like it doesn't embarrass me anymore. I don't feel embarrassed to post videos even though maybe I probably should because I know they're some of them are terrible but I'm out here doing my best all I want to do is grow my business and do what I love so thank you for supporting me if you haven't already I would appreciate if you would hit that like button and subscribe for more because I will be coming back with a ton more videos I have decided to stick to only one video a week trying to do two plus do the lives it's just too much so Tuesdays are my upload days I upload every day or every week Tuesdays at 10 a.m. So check them out. Hit the notification button if you can't remember whenever it comes on. That way you are notified and you can come back and watch them and leave me comments and give me thumbs up because that helps boost me up in the algorithm and I could definitely use all the support that I could get. And if you are also a small business owner, let me know and I will look you up and I will also follow your small business because I truly believe that to be successful, we have, have to boost each other up and help each other and I am more than willing to do my part. I'll follow you on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever you need. 
and I, all I ask is the same courtesy. I'm not asking for everybody to go through and purchase anything. There are other ways to support small business owners rather than just making purchases. So if you don't care, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram. Um, you can find me. All my links are in the description for my social media channels. Not quite sure about my Facebook one. I have issues with the Facebook one sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the TikTok one and the Instagram one are, they do, they do work. <laughs> so if you don't care, give me a follow. Let me know that you came from YouTube. And yeah, let's just, let's do this thing together. Let's, let's build this business and have a good time doing it. So thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love y'all. Bye.